Ciao friends, we are Andrea and Ravi. In this video, we are very excited to share with you some of our favorite restaurants in Tulum. From the most local restaurants to the top of the top that Tulum has to offer, we are covering it all. And there is something for every budget. We hope that you subscribe to our channel and like and comment to help us continue to bring you this type of content. When in Tulum, it can be easy to get lost in the hype of the hotel zone. But if you venture out of the posh area, you can dine shoulder to shoulder with locals and have some of the most amazing food for a fraction of the price. Don't get us wrong, we love the fancier restaurants as well and we'll be sharing our favorites in this video. But we also like hole in the wall restaurants with amazing food. Taqueria Honorio is one of the most famous and most recommended taquerias in Tulum. It is known for the delicious tacos like lechon, which is suckling pig, pavo, turkey, and cochinita pibil, a slow roasted pork dish typical of the region. All of the tacos we tried were delicious and they have vegetarian options as well. Make sure to order a side of their chicharrones. All right, I'm gonna try my cochinita pibil, which is pork, but prepared in the fashion or the spices from this area. I'm so excited. Mm. It's really, really good. I put some uh, salsa verde. It's not very spicy, but I'm about to try another spicy sauce. My friends tell me this is the spiciest sauce, so. Let's see. Oh wow. <laughs> It has a kick, it's so spicy. But it's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try the lechon right now. This is a suckling pig. And it's been cooked slowly for many hours in a stone oven. It came with ginger garlic. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in it. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat first one and then the other, but I'm gonna put them all together. I'll do the Mexican So good. So the meal was so good at Taqueria and Oreo. I know the hype is not just a hype, it's really, really good. Yeah. And look how many people are waiting online. The line is huge. Los Morros is as local as a place can get in Tulum. It's located by a pool with a bar and a restaurant connected to it. We went there to try this special taco that uses melted cheese as the shell, called Costra de Queso, and boy was it worth it. And if you're on a low-carb diet, this is perfect. The food there is amazing, and the ambiance is really relaxing and authentic. If you want to go outside of the beaten path and try some amazing food, make sure you visit Los Morros. Man, it's so good. You can definitely feel the I cheese can't. a lot. It's so good. And the stuffing is uh, a little bit charred, which makes it even more tasty. We just finished eating here. It was it was fantastic. We had the, I think we said it before, but the crusty, cheesy goodness taco. Uh, it was really, really good. La Popular restaurant at Nomade is open for lunch and dinner and is worth trying even if you don't stay there. It's a gorgeous place by the beach and the food is good. From tacos to rice to aguachile, ceviche and paella, it has a wide range of options and all of the food we try has been exceptional. Tacos are served only until 4 p.m. so make sure you go early if you want to try the delicious tacos. The fish and shrimp tacos were especially popular with our group. Really. 
Nu is by far our favorite restaurant in Tulum. The Bohemian Open Air restaurant perfectly blends into the backdrop of the jungle in which it's located, and it will charm you with its romantic lights, soft lounge music, and memorable meals. The star of this place is the food. At Nu, vegetables take center stage. The organic ingredients are freshly sourced and each dish is exceptional in taste and presentation. The chef, Luis Aguilar, originally from Mexicali, Baja California, grew up with a passion for food and that's evident in the impeccably prepared food that comes out of his kitchen. The restaurant uses the finest and freshest ingredients to revisit local flavors in sustainable ways and everything we tried was fantastic and the menu is fairly priced for such quality. Some of our favorite dishes were sweet potato agrodolce, charred carrots, la cabana quail, the campeche prawns, the Caribbean fish, the lemongrass rock cornish, and the lamb loin. Yes, you can say we tried the whole menu. You want to eat it? The carrot and the chili is amazing. So good. Yeah. Please do not miss the dessert here. We tried the yeast flan that they had that night, and it is so delicious and one of our all-time favorite desserts. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Is it mango? So good. I confirm, this is mango. This place is outstanding. Really. One of the best, if not the best, along with Arca. The crowd is nice, the ambiance is nice. There is also a live DJ in the area that I showed you earlier. Service is on point, very pleasant, very attentive, uh, very adult. I love it. We love it. Yep. Hey, we'll just complete it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make this uh, food for the day with fresh eating, fresh food. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to have vegetable on your menu like that is a fantastic. So good, the vegetables. Yes. We didn't expect yes. it. Yes. Yeah, for me, the idea is the future. Now yes. the vegetables is amazing. It yes. uh, added a really great flavor. Yeah. And tasty. And it's yeah. a uh, different technique for the vegetables. It's amazing. And yes. more sustainable too. Yeah. Hey. yeah. If you're looking for a memorable meal in Tulum, check out Arca. The food is micro-seasonal, showcasing regional ingredients cooked on an open fire. The dishes pack both flavors and the presentation is as good as the taste. The portions are on the smaller side as they're meant to be shared in true Mexican fashion. However, they are still abundant for tapas. From its decor and ambiance to the food and service, this restaurant is outstanding. We're gonna taste an awesome wine. This is from Mexico, right? Yes. Some of our favorite dishes at Arca are the octopus al pastor, which is to die for, the soft shell crepe taco that uses a leaf as the taco, roasted bone marrow that comes sizzling on fire, but the menu is full of other delicious options such as the suckling pig remoulade, the seared prawns and chili butter. <laughs> A little bit of salt. We have a mole with poblano chili, lemongrass, and coconut milk. The filet is cooked in just one side, that is the one with the skin.
Meze is another of our favorite restaurants in Tulum. Once you pass through the Bougainvillea covered archway, you'll enter this elegant al fresco restaurant located in the courtyard of a white hacienda. The open kitchen is helmed by chef Alexandros Gutsi, who has cooked at restaurants in Greece, including Michelin starred ones. Most of the dishes are cooked on open fire and are based on high quality ingredients sourced locally and in Greece, and each dish was truly outstanding. Our favorite dishes were the dolma, which is one of the best we've ever had, the chicken and octopus, which were outstanding, the Greek salad, which was even better than the ones we had in Greece, and the batata hara, which tastes more like Greek lemon potato. For dessert, the cheesecake and spicy chocolate mousse are a must try. If you have to choose one place in Tulum, Meze and Nu should be the top two considerations. Casa Jaguar has a very unique aesthetic, with religious artifacts everywhere and a romantic candlelight glow against the greenery of the jungle. Although it appeals to our sense of design, it was not the most memorable meal we had in Tulum. The food is unpretentious, inspired by the cuisine of the Yucatan Peninsula. However, and take this with a grain of salt, we live in Washington DC where we have diverse restaurants with amazing food, so the value of the food for the money is a bit low. The food is simple in presentation and technique, but the prices compare to the more high-end restaurants on the block. For instance, we paid $51 for a steak cooked on fire, but the fat was staring at us in the eyes as it didn't render although it was cooked on open fire, and the smoky flavor that you'd expect from food cooked this way was not there. This type of details makes you feel like you're overpaying for your food. On the other end, Todos Santos, the bar connected to the restaurant, impressed my friends who tried the cocktails and one even said that she had the best Negroni she's ever had there. Todos Santos becomes more clubby as the night progresses, but since we are early risers, we didn't stay long enough to experience that. But for the time we were there, the live DJ set was really good. As most people would tell you, Gitano is a place to see, be seen, and have fun while in Tulum. Although this place is known mainly as a nightclub on certain nights, we wanted to try the food and have a few drinks, so we went there on an off night. We previously tried the NYC location and had really enjoyed it. Nestled in the jungle of Tulum, Gitano will charm you from the iconic pink neon sign that greets you at the door. This place is loud with live DJ playing international tunes and the food is decent. We tried different tacos but the watermelon salad was punlikingly good. Although we wouldn't recommend this place as a foodie destination, it is worth visiting to enjoy a drink or two while jamming to the beautiful tunes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday! 
that's a lot of fire. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go check out Macondo restaurant here at Nomade. There should be some live music pretty soon. Macondo is one of the three restaurants at Nomade Tulum. The restaurant serves breakfast, lunch and dinner. The decor is Moroccan-inspired, bohemian, and it will transport you to a zen and mystical place. It's a unique place to have a meal. Macondo has live music on certain nights, starting at 7 p.m., and if you like loungy, chill, meditative types of ambiances, you will enjoy this place. The food at dinner is Moroccan, and while we were not blown away by some of the dishes, we really like the chicken, and the drinks are really good too. Make sure you don't miss it while in Tulum, if not for dinner, for after or before the drinks. Our last Wild is located right across from Nomade and is a well-kept secret. The unique design perfectly blends with the jungle landscape, with copal incense adding to the ambiance. This is a perfect place to have drinks at the bar while soaking in the beautiful ambiance. Although we didn't dine there this time, we had an amazing dinner there in 2020. The menu is international with a Mexican flair. Wild's concept is farm to table, using fresh produce and ingredients from local producers. And it features a variety of meats, seafood and local vegetables cooked with a wood fire oven. This place is perfect for a romantic dinner or to have drinks after dinner. We hope you liked our content. If you made it till here, please consider subscribing to help us bring more of this type of content to you. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you can be the first to know when the next video is live.